So we're here today to release the dormice that we've kept in quarantine at CNSL into soft release cages. It's a release uh, program that has been led by PTS, the People's Trust for Endangered Species, and both uh, ZSL and Paint and Zoo. We keep uh, about 20 dormice each year in quarantine uh, that undergo health examinations and are then released uh, at the release site. So they're being kept in big cages, uh, and one male and one female together. They're still being fed, and then at the end of the soft release period, the cages are opened, they can go into the woods, but food will still be supplied to them so that they can have some supplementary food if they're still finding it difficult to uh, find food in the wild. So at ZSL, we've been involved with the Dormice uh, release program for many, many years, and our focus is uh, health and disease. So what we're trying to do is to make sure that they're as healthy as possible when they're released. But we're also looking at uh, the fact that we don't want them to inadvertently bring uh, parasites or diseases with them into the wild, which they would be then introducing to this woods. Uh, so that's why we do health screening uh, while they're in quarantine. We chip them, so we introduce a microchip uh, under the skin between their shoulder blades uh, when we're doing the health examination under anesthesia. And with that chip, each individual can be recognized with a chip reader. So this is a big day for us because it's a culmination of a period of about two months of keeping the dormice in quarantine doing health examinations, doing stool checks. So it's quite a special day for us because it's the end of a busy period where we've been making sure that the dormice are healthy and fit for release.